Good evening, everyone. I'm Liz Bishop. Greg Floyd is on assignment tonight in Washington, where tomorrow Albany's own Henry Johnson will be posthumously awarded the nation's highest military distinction, the Medal of Honor. It took years of lobbying from advocates here in the Capital Region and beyond to make this moment possible for the World War I hero. Greg spent the day at Arlington National Cemetery, where Johnson is buried. Tomorrow, Sergeant Henry Johnson of Albany makes history as he becomes a Medal of Honor recipient with a ceremony at the White House. But today, we came here to Arlington National Cemetery, one of the most sacred patches of earth in all America, because this is where Henry Johnson rests. Henry Johnson was a porter at the Albany train station before and after World War I, and he is buried right along Porter Drive in Arlington, Section 25, Grave 64. The 369th Infantry Regiment, the Harlem Hellfighters, forever etched into his grave marker. It was on the night of May 15, 1918, that Henry Johnson was on sentry duty with a French combat unit. He couldn't fight under the American flag because of the color of his skin. A German raiding party attacked, and Johnson was there to almost single-handedly fight them off. He was badly wounded, but still drove off the attackers and saved a comrade who was also wounded. The full recognition of that gallantry has been a long time coming. Henry Johnson was never considered for the Medal of Honor because he was a soldier of color. Tomorrow, all that changes at the White House. There will be a contingent of Albanians and New Yorkers at the Medal of Honor ceremony at the White House tomorrow. Senator Chuck Schumer leading the way, but also people like Kathy Sheehan, the mayor of Albany, Dan McCoy, Albany County Executive, who's on the plane with us coming down here today, and all sorts of people, African-Americans, Vietnam veterans, veterans of other wars, who know what a special person Henry Johnson was to them, to Albany, and now to America. It's a special day, and they wouldn't miss it for the world. One of Albany's greatest being honored tomorrow. At the White House, we'll have complete coverage. But for now, we are at Arlington National Cemetery, the final resting place of Henry Johnson. We'll have live reports tomorrow. I'm Greg Floyd.